An outpouring of grief in the community of Frederick, where police arrest a father for killing his pregnant wife and their two daughters. I'm Ellen Janae. Christopher Watts is now facing three charges of murder and the disappearance of his family. Investigators say he confessed to those murders. Our Jamie Leary is at the family home right now where neighbors and friends are honoring Shanann Watts and the girls. But let's start with Dylan Thomas today, who has details on the arrest and the search still for bodies. Dylan. Alan, after days of searching and hoping for the best possible outcome, yesterday, Chris Watts, the father and husband of those missing, was arrested on suspicion of murder. And shortly after, a body believed to be that of Shannon Watts was located nearby. Today, in a joint media conference with the FBI, CBI, and more, the Frederick Police Department announced Chris Watts was being held in the Weld County Jail on suspicion of three counts of first-degree murder and three counts of tampering with evidence. Before being arrested, Watts told authorities he was under the impression his pregnant wife left on Monday with their two daughters, Bella and Celeste, to visit friends. More than 20 investigators questioned friends and family for days before arresting Watts on suspicion of murder Wednesday afternoon. Sources told CBS4 Watts later confessed to killing his family, though law enforcement would not confirm that today. What they could confirm was that at least one body was found on Anadarko property, the oil and gas company Watts worked for. At this point, we have been able to recover um, a uh, body that we're quite certain is uh, Shanann Watts' body. Uh, we have uh, strong reason to believe that we know where the bodies of the children are and recovery efforts are in process on that. And right now, investigators continue to search for the bodies of those two young girls. A search of court records showed CBS4 that Shannon and Chris Watts were both summoned to appear in court later on this month. However, we're not exactly sure at this time what that summons was for. In just more than two hours, Chris Watts is scheduled to make his first court appearance. Live in Frederick, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Yeah, that's going to occur at 2.30 today. We'll cover it. Thank you very much, Dylan. Let's go to Jamie Leary. Hey, really an incredible amount of grief in this community today, Jamie. There is a horrible feeling among the neighbors here, though. We've been talking with neighbors off camera, and just to see the pain on their faces has truly been very difficult to see. This is kind of the only way, this memorial here, that people know how to deal with this grief at this point in time. Every few minutes, another neighbor or community member will come by the home to reflect and lay flowers or a teddy bear for the girls. Those two girls attended school nearby here. One parent told me that families at the school as well as the staff were beside themselves at drop off this morning. Others coming by the memorial here. We've spoke with them. They said while they have no connection to the family, a lot of strangers coming by. It's important they show support. One family told me they're very angry and like many, they're trying to cope and figure out how somebody could do such a thing. I got 15 grandkids and nine great grandkids, me and my little woman here. And it bothers me a lot too, you know, as a man, you know. How can a man do that, you know, to a child like that? And what's making this very difficult for some of these neighbors, they say they knew the family, they knew the husband, and they thought that he was a nice family man, seemingly. We're working on getting a hold of the family so we can learn a little bit more about the two girls. And Shanann, we're continuing to follow the story. Live in Frederick, Jamie Leary, covering Colorado First. Jamie, thank you very much. What happened behind closed doors, we just don't know. Again, police are still working to find the bodies of Bella and Celeste Watts. And Adarko is said to be cooperating. They have not said, authorities, how the children and their mother, Shanann, died. Watts is due in court at 2.30 this afternoon. We'll look for continuing coverage right here on CBSDenver.com. You'll find it right here and beginning on CBS4 News at 5 tonight as well.